Oh, that's right. It all started when the chief for general surgery at Dartmouth Hitchcock said he had to do something about the number of opioids prescribed after surgery. Dr. Richard Barr says he wanted to help people like Sarah Mikos, who started using um, prescription opioids like Percocet in college, even though they weren't prescribed to her. Barth has been leading research in opioid prescribing levels. The first study revealed after the most common outpatient operations, virtually every patient was prescribed opioids but they only used about a quarter of the prescription, leaving the rest at risk for abuse. When Dartmouth told other surgeons what they found, those doctors cut their prescriptions in half. Barth says the number of opioids prescribed nationwide has dropped 9% now, and the Granite State leads the country with the highest decrease. It's down 15% over last year. As a surgeon, I don't think any one of us really realized so much that um, we're putting our patients at risk for being long-term opioid users and potentially dying from opioid overdose just because we're prescribing them opioids. A third study found the number of pills prescribed the day before surgery actually predicted how many people would need at home. Barth is currently working on another study, and as for Mikos, she wants to see more research to help others avoid the same kind of struggles that she went through.